you're going to live under laws because of the kind of thing you are. And if you live under bad laws, you're going to be miserable. What's a country? A country has borders. <laughs> that's the latest news, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and uh, OK. So that's the edge of a country. <laughs> What's inside there? It's a group of citizens that have engaged in a contract together to be ruled by the same government. So it takes contract. Mm -hmm. According to modern political thought, uh, but there's an interesting a sentence in the Declaration of Independence that we will read. Um, see if we can find it. So it says, uh, whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, lay its foundation on such principles. So we can change the government. It's a right. But then what follows from that? We kind of have a duty to establish a new set of rules in law. So the Declaration of Independence doesn't contemplate life without government, does it? Correct. How does it begin? It begins in very general terms in that it can be applied. It's not specific to America. It can be applied. Human events means really any time. One people can be any people. Universally. Right. Isn't that interesting? Uh, they begin universally, but how does it end? Let's look at the last sentence. And for the support, somebody read this. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. What else do they have to pledge except those things? That's a pledge of everything, right? We pledge all of that, and who do they pledge it to? Each other? They're promising each other. See, that's a big pledge and a pledge of everything. And in the name of who do they make this pledge? Divine Providence? Yeah. Who's that? Their creator. Yeah. As was mentioned in the beginning of the Declaration of Independence. So God, right? They swear to God and to each other. Uh, we have fraternities at Hillsdale College, and I won't say that they're not sometimes a little naughty. And, uh, and uh, they all take uh, pledges, oaths, to join the fraternity. And the oaths are all the same. They're all 19th century Christian organizations, these fraternities. And uh, we're big oath takers around here, as you know. We're just like these guys right in the Declaration of Independence. So, so all you got to do is remind them of their oath. You know, what'd you do? And they, you know, kind of, well, you know. And you say, well, I forget now. <laughs> what'd you promise to do in your oath to your fraternity? And it's always, the, all of the oaths are to God and each other. Many of them to the college, too. That means I really got them, right? <laughs> <laughs> they got to straighten up now. And, and that's a, it's a big deal with war pending, right? And this is particular, right? The, the people in the room, you know, about four times as many as is around this table, swear to each other. I swear to Emily, and Emily swears to me. And that means later, we don't do it. We know the name and can picture the face of the person who's gonna disapprove, who's been betrayed, right? And that's as particular as it can possibly get. But it begins was it Casey who said that? Universally? No, it wasn't. That was Garrison. Good job. Yeah. It begins universally. It begins without reference to any place or any people, but to every place and every people. And it ends with the utmost particularity. You know, if you think uh, every choice you make, uh, you've always got some sense of right when you make a choice. This document moves from this ultimate sense of right that we all carry down to the particular circumstances in which they are going to act right now. And the whole document is a connected chain from the general to the particular. And it's exactly the process every one of us goes through every time we make a hard choice. 
Isn't that interesting? Thank you for watching. We hope you're enjoying our highlight series and invite you to explore all of Hillsdale College's online courses. They are free and for everyone who loves to learn.